Hello everyone. So today in this video, we will discuss the topic of performance characteristics of refrigerant reciprocating compressor. In the previous video, we have discussed about reciprocating compressors and its working and construction. And today in this video, we will focus on its performance characteristics. <clears throat> so let's start our topic. The performance of a reciprocating compressor is measured in terms of its refrigeration capacity, brake power per ton of refrigeration, and total brake power. Means if we have a compressor here, for example, let's say this is our compressor, its performance can be measured in terms of its refrigeration capacity, brake power, per ton of refrigeration and total brake power. So these are the three parameters which will uh, show or indicate the performance of a reciprocating compressor. Means reciprocate uh, refrigeration capacity, brake power per ton of refrigeration and total brake power. Two important parameters in the design of refrigerant are evaporator temperature and condenser temperature. So uh, the parameters upon which we will discuss the performance of the compressor are suction temperature and condenser temperature. So suction temperature is also known as evaporator temperature. So these are the parameters uh, which will describe uh, which will uh, considered in the design of the refrigerant. So now the effect of these two parameters on the refrigeration capacity and brake power are discussed. So these two parameters means suction temperature and condenser temperature with their effect on the refrigeration capacity total brake power and brake power per ton will be discussed in the upcoming slides. So first one is effect of suction temperature on compressor refrigerating capacity. So first of all we can see the effect of evaporator or suction temperature on the compressor refrigerating capacity is shown in figure. So this is the parameter curves, performance curves for the reciprocating compressor. Here we have taken suction temperature or evaporator temperature in degree C and we have taken three parameters for the performance like compressor capacity. This is this curve is showing compressor capacity and uh, second uh, curve is showing compressor brake power and third curve is showing brake power per ton. So you can see from the graph we will first discuss about compressor capacity. As the suction temperature increases the compressor capacity also increases or we can say as the suction temperature decreases the compressor capacity will going to decrease. This is the uh, diagram or graph for the refrigerant R12. We see from the figure that refrigerating capacity of a reciprocating compressor decreases with a decrease in evaporator or suction temperature. So as we have shown in this diagram, as the suction temperature decreases, the refrigeration capacity will also decrease. It is due to the fact that at low suction temperature, <clears throat> the vaporizing pressure is low and therefore density of suction vapor entering the compressor is low. So if, if you see at low temperature, the pressure will also be less and the density of the vapors entering the compressor will also be low. So what this, uh, this will cause the mass of refrigerant circulated through the compressor per unit time decreases. So as the de density decreases, the mass of the refrigerant also decreases and this uh, mass uh, decrease in mass uh, will be uh, directly proportional to the decrease in suction temperature. Second one is 
effect of suction temperature on compressor brake power the effect of suction temperature on compressor brake power per ton of refrigeration and total brake power is shown in figure so here we have taken uh, the same diagram again suction temperature and we will discuss about compressor brake power and brake power per ton of refrigeration <coughs> So as you see that uh, with the increase in suction temperature, the brake power per ton decreases. We see from the figure that compressor brake power per ton of refrigeration decreases with increase in suction temperature when the condenser temperature remains same. But total brake power of the compressor is dependent on the following two factors. The total brake power depends upon work of compression and mass of refrigerant circulated per minute. A little consideration will show that when the decrease in suction temperature, work of compression increases and mass of refrigerant circulated per minute decreases. I again repeat, when the suction temperature decreases, the pressure also decreases. And with this, the uh, density of the vapor also decreases and mass of the refrigerant circulated per minute also decreases. The decrease in the mass of the refrigerant circulated outweighs the increase in work of compression per kg. So the compressor has to do more work to circulate the refrigerant. Thus, the net effect is to decrease the total brake power of the compressor with decrease in suction temperature. So with this, the brake power will decrease with decrease in suction temperature. <coughs> Now let's move to the condenser temperature. Up to this point, we have discussed about suction temperature effect. Now we will discuss the effect of condenser temperature. The effect of condenser temperature on compressor refrigerating capacity, brake power per ton of refrigeration and total brake power is shown in figure. So this is the diagram. First one, we have condenser temperature. Now. We will discuss the effect of condenser temperature and we have three parameters for the refrigeration uh, reciprocating compressor performance that is compressor brake power, brake power per ton of refrigeration and compressor capacity. You can see with the increase in condenser temperature, the compressor capacity decreases uh, and the brake power per ton of refrigeration and compressor brake power both increase with increase in condenser temperature. So the suction temperature is kept constant in all the cases. We see from the figure that increase in condenser temperature. So as we increase the condenser temperature, as we increase the condenser temperature results in decrease of compressor refrigerating capacity. So compressor refrigerating capacity decreases and increase in the uh, uh, brake power per ton of refrigeration and total brake power. So though both the brake powers will increase with increase in condenser temperature. So that's it for the performance of the reciprocating refrigerant compressor. So this completes our topic. We will meet in the, with a new topic in the upcoming video. Thank you very much.